Lee's summit vision statement describes it today, but also into 2040, a vibrant community ensuring the finest quality of life for all generations. Our community's quality of life represents the standard of health, comfort, and happiness experienced by the people who live, work, and play here. Lee's summit provides a high quality of life for all generations now. But what should we preserve about our community for the future? Lee's Summit is known for its historical places like downtown, cultural and recreational amenities and its natural resources. Seven lakes make up nearly 4% of the land area of Lee's Summit. Lakes, rivers and streams add to the quality of life for Lee's Summit residents. The goal is to appreciate, protect and enhance the natural environment to meet the community's needs today without compromising the ability of future generations to live and prosper. One of the best ways to protect the natural environment is to get people outdoors to enjoy it. Park open space makes up about 15% of Lee Summit's land area. Lee Summit has 12.5 acres of parkland per 1,000 people, which is higher than the national average, which is 9.35 acres. But as the community grows, additional land will need to be preserved for parks and open space. The southern portion of Lee's Summit is currently underserved by both parks and indoor facilities. Parks, recreation, and cultural amenities are critical to achieving a high quality of life and a safe, fun, and healthy environment. We will expand and prioritize park investments, recreational events programming, space facility needs, and identify funding. And expand and prioritize cultural events programming, space needs, and identify funding. The Lee's Summit Parks Department has award-winning amenities that offer recreational opportunities throughout the community. There is a growing demand in Lee's Summit for gallery space, indoor performing arts space, and classroom space. Lee's Summit also has 16 national registered districts and four properties. Three properties have local historic landmark designation. The Howard Cemetery is a historic resource as well. Preserving and celebrating our history, culture, and natural resources will provide a high quality of life into 2040. But what would really ignite a brighter future is to connect these features to neighborhoods and commercial areas so that residents and visitors can enjoy Lee Summit's finest quality of life. Compared to the 250 cities across the country with populations over 50,000, Lee Summit falls short on the walkability scale. Lee Summit has been a leader in bicycle communities in Missouri. What if we made Lee Summit a fully connected place where walking and biking was part of everyday life? What if visitors came to Lee Summit because the community has connected all their high quality resources and places? The first step is to maintain what we have and fill in the sidewalk gaps. Then we will build out a complete Greenway and Trails master plan, preserving and connecting what makes Lee's Summit appealing. Regional Connections The Rock Island Trail will eventually link Kansas City, Raytown, and Lee Summit to Missouri's famous Katy Trail by way of Mopac Trail through Pleasant Hill. Regional trails along Highway 150, Liggett Road, and the Little Blue River will provide additional regional connectivity. The 3rd Street Corridor between Rock Island Trail and Downtown Lee Summit is a destination corridor where you will be able to walk, drive, ride a bike, and take other forms of transportation in the future. Community connectors are the building blocks of a successful greenway system. Side paths, trails, and bicycle routes connect the neighborhoods, parks, and schools in Lee Summit to a larger greenway network and regional corridors. Loop routes connect people to our beautiful lakes. We will strengthen multimodal connections to downtown with the 3rd Street Destination Corridor. Also, O'Brien Road, which is bicycle and pedestrian friendly already and is considered the safest crossing point over Highway 50. It is identified as a planned bicycle route with a connection along Market Street leading to Harris Park. A planned side path along Douglas Street and 2nd Street, Langsford Road will provide connectivity to the north and east from downtown. And a new interchange at Jefferson Street and Highway 50 includes multimodal accommodations and provides a link for bicyclists and pedestrians from the south into downtown. Greenway Loop 
The Little Blue Trace Trail currently makes up three miles of the planned 40 mile greenway loop. The built portion of the Little Blue Trace Trail currently terminates a little less than one mile southwest of where it crosses under Lee Summit Road. When complete, the Little Blue Trace Trail will comprise more than 12 miles of the planned greenway loop. Todd George Parkway currently includes a wide shoulder between Colburn Road and Woods Chapel Road for bicyclists. However, a side path facility is planned to come online once the area develops, which will be a greenway connection that should appeal to a broader range of potential users. The existing side path along Blackwell Road gives trail users access to a secondary trail loop into Legacy Park. The Mouse Creek Greenway Corridor connects several existing and planned neighborhoods, including a handful of schools. The existing bicycle route wide shoulder along Raytown Road completes the Greenway Loop around Longview Lake. Community Connector The existing bicycle route on Lake Drive, also called the Lakewood Loop, is part of the annual Lee Summit's Tour de Lakes ride, drawing hundreds of participants each year. A soft surface trail on the north side of Lake Jacomo Dam and side path along Liggett Road provide a connection from the Greenway Loop to the bike lanes on Highway 7. Although 3rd Street is identified in the master plan as a future destination corridor leading from the Rock Island Trail to downtown, O'Brien Road provides the safest connection for bicycles in the interim.